least it ain't raining. You see that guy down there? She takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation. What? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice, you sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck? What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys, I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. 
Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh, shit, man. Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail! Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop! So try some different talk! Or I'll jump! Even if you escape Sutter's out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting! I was busy, but he doesn't get that! Doing laundry is important to me! It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean... I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Mind your own business, cop. Oh shit, those are some nice looking dead shoes, I hope they fit. It's getting colder, now we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? They harass my customers. And then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, you say. I say, 
Nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. I don't know if there's something wrong with this beer or if listening to this silver nutcase made me sober up. Come on, man. Let's bail. Thanks, officer. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in. This is where Sook was supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. Or at least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it's just those animals. This looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, stench. Someone missed potty training. If Soot is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing.
Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity. Gang leader included. Requesting backup. Let's hurry up. They probably... <sighs> Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need to...
building is clear. Let's head outside. when having a conversational <laughs> Behind you! Now, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. Look at this, everybody. A walking disco ball decided to join us. 
Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. But stay right there, everybody. Let's give him a warm... heading backstage. Follow him. Shit. Watch out for the civilians. <laughs> Everything lined up perfectly! Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you! Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get it... That's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. doesn't come cheap! No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! until every pig in Detroit is dead. You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. Screw you, bastard. That is not a way to treat a famous person. Oh, I'm hit. Knock 
yourself out. That's not even mine. Hey, that stuff doesn't come cheap. That's enough. I'll talk. Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. And that... Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the... Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. When he's a fluke, I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a lighter you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think so. Murphy. What's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities, and yet you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. And I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. 
And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My directives tell me to uphold the law, not to sit idly by. And I'm here to help you do that without any unwanted complications. I understand this is not an ideal situation and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I'm a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. I was given a second chance and resurrected inside this metal shell. Clinical death and waking up in a body that is not quite yours is a first for me, too. In a patient, that is. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. 
A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear us? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy.